All right, back here at home, let's talk about the weather. And it's a decent looking day behind you, but I, on your radar, anytime I see red, it looks intense to me. Is it, <laughs> is it getting less intense as it moves towards us? Yes, uh, so the shower offshore, and I'll get to the radar in a second, is actually approaching here on this camera view. You can kind of tell a little bit of a haze. That's because there's some rain entering the area. And there it is. So, yeah, it was a lot more intense a few miles out. But as it is now getting right along the coast between Southeast Broward and Northeast Miami-Dade, you notice that that shading of red that Keith was mentioning is dissipating. So that's an indication that the shower is, is dissipating. However, still producing rainfall between Hollywood down towards uh, Miami Beach, although Miami Beach and these areas uh, may be just getting a drizzle right now, but eventually all of that will come your way. And then there's some drizzle pushing through downtown Miami, but this is associated with this little shower here that quickly went by over Key Biscayne and now is entering the Coral Gables area. This will also impact areas of Pinecrest, Palmetto Bay, and eventually into Kendall as it continues to dissipate. But these are quick moving showers. We have a strong, mainly easterly breeze, east northeast at times. And so showers aren't going to last too long. Also, despite the fact that there are some showers out there, we're still getting sunshine. I mean, look at Key West, which Key West did see a little bit of rain move by about an hour ago, but it quickly went out of the way and here's the sunshine and you can tell also it's breezy. So that is really the main st weather story for us or the main weather impact this weekend are those winds and they're going to be sustained anywhere between 15 to 20 miles per hour. Current temperatures are sitting at mainly the lower 80s, 82 in Miami, 79 in Fort Lauderdale. Now here's a look at those wind speeds topping 15 miles per hour in Pompano Beach, gusting though over 20 miles per hour. So it'll be breezy, so small craft operators should exercise with caution. This is for the Atlantic waters between Dade and Broward. Seas are between two to four feet today, occasionally getting up to five feet. And you'll notice that it's choppy out there, especially when you have that strong easterly flow. Also, the bays are rough for, or inside the reef, I should say, are rough for the Florida Keys. And so the water surrounding the Florida Keys are under a small craft advisory this weekend. It's all thanks to that high that's situated over the mid-Atlantic. It is eventually going to slide over the Atlantic Ocean, but that's why we're dealing with a strong easterly breeze. I do want to point out that the showers we're seeing right now, it's isolated and it should remain like that through the afternoon as most of the shower activity pulls away towards the west coast. Highs in the mid to upper 80s.